love the feeling of a new year. The old saying, new year, new me, is officially my motto. I've started exercising again, filled out a ton of job applications, and even gave up chocolate, which might actually kill me. But after eating sugar like my life depended on it all through college, I know I need to lay off it for a while. My best friend and I have a running bet how long these resolutions will last. He says two months, I say at least six. But only time will tell. The late evening rain pounds against my window, and though it's only six, it's practically dark outside. It's one indication that winter is still here, but I'm treating it as an extended vacation. After doubling up on my classes the last few semesters and working my ass off so I could graduate a semester early, I decided I'd relax for a few months. I've chosen to enjoy myself and not stress while I wait for several different elementary schools to review my resume. Though I'm registered to substitute teach, I haven't been called in a few weeks, which is somewhat disappointing. Mela, my mother calls from downstairs. After I find a permanent teaching job, the first thing I'm saving up for is an apartment. My parents supported me taking a short break after taking a full load of classes along with my student teaching position last semester, but I don't like asking them for money. I'd rather earn it. Yes, Mom, I ask from the top of the stairs. Your grandma called. Don't forget to call her back sometime this century. I roll my eyes, and before going to change clothes, I peek inside the twins' room, but they don't even notice me. Katie and Avery are typical 12-year-old girls and in the stage of makeup, celebrity crushes, and obsessed with their iPhones. Pretty soon, they'll be teenagers, which completely blows my mind, since I've basically helped raise them.